Nanindigan ang militar nang wala silang nalabag na batas laban sa dalawang kabataang rebelde na sina Jed Tamano at Junila Castro. Sa pareho ng media kay Philippine Army Commanding General, Lieutenant General Roy Galido, naniniwala siya na walang maling ginawa ang militar kaugnay sa kontrobersyal na pagbawi ng testimonya ng dalawang kabataang rebelde. We never failed on our mission. That's why there's not a blunder. Maybe the other group had a blunder. Because we are true to what we are doing right now. We were very transparent in our action. And blunder probably is a mechanism created by another group. But for us, we're, we're true to our role of making this country better by really making the task force ELCAC, EO70, and with the effort of the local government officials and all government agencies to really crush the communist terrorist movement. Sa kabilang banda, nilinaw rin ng general na handa nilang kondinahin ang mga kasamahan nila na may maling ginagawa. Sa katunayan, personal pang hinamon ni Lieutenant General Galido ang sinuman particular na sa kampo ni Natamano at Castro na magsampa na lamang ang mga ito ng reklamo o kaso kung sa tingin nila ay may nilabag ang militar. We are a country of laws. We follow the rule of law. If you are affected, if your rights are violated, then file a case. And if there are soldiers violating the law, well, you've heard we went after those soldiers who violated the law. We do not condone, the army does not condone violation of the law. Nauna nang nilinaw ng AFP na legal ang pagsuko ni Natamano at Castro kaakibat ang mga ebidensya gaya ng raw videos ng kanilang panunumpa sa harap ng abogado ng pamahalaan at pagbibigay ng salaysay ng kanilang pagtalikod sa mga kakaliwang kilusan na kanilang dating kinaaniban. Based on their sworn statement which will be part of uh, the case, they are the ones who went to us. Sila ang lumapit asking assistance for them to be facilitated because we have this program of encouraging people supporting the terrorist, communist terrorist group to go back to main society and be more productive. Sa huli, naniniwala ang militar na nananatili pa rin mataas ang moral ng kanilang hanay sa likod ng paninira at maling paratag ng kabilang kampo laban sa kanila. You should not be afraid of us because you were your friend. We are kami ang tumutulong sa inyo. Kaya nga marami nagsusurrender sa AFP, sa Army. Kung kami ay kalaban, bakit paano sila magsusurrender? You, you know statistics, you've heard of... Uh, several incidents to like, surrender because it's not surrendering to the army, it's surrendering to the government. Or going back to mainstream society, being a normal person, yun po ang habol natin, to be able to contribute productively for making our country better. Para sa Diyos at sa Pilipinas, kung mahal, nag-uulat Paul Montibon, SMNI News.